Hello there, and welcome to a review today on the Dapple Terrier. Now, first impressions, the logo is small, but then again, in general, the logo was small. Uh, this one is in Stroudley's Improved Green and named Thames. And uh, give you a general overview of the box. And uh, let's, uh, let's take it out of the box, see what it really is like. Ah, and of course you get the uh, warranty and uh, the service sheet, which is something you wouldn't really want to get rid of. Let's see what we got. This is basically here just telling us where to oil it on the motion. And that, and all the important notices, and about DCC, install then, and so on. Definitely always worth keeping them. And what's this one? Oh, this one looks like it's just the 24 month warranty. Yeah, it's just the mechanical warranty. Again, you don't get lose that in case anything goes wrong with it. So let's take the loco out and actually have a proper good look at it. Okay, and we have some details. Uh, we have the Dapple, don't have the camera focus on it, Easy Shunt um, KD couplings and some other couplings. Also, it looks like you've got some chain for the Locos coupling. And not that I'm going to fit them because they're a little bit small and fiddly. <laughs> Let's get the engine out now. Now this is the first time I've actually taken it off the out of the box because it's only just arrived, so let's find out what it's like. Okay, so it feels a little bit light, but it's a small loco. Now, got the uh, vacuum brake hose, which is just that one there, already fitted on. And uh, they've also deep modelled the air pump on the loco, which um, they did have air pumps on them. So, yeah, it's just looking quite a nice loco at the moment. What do you notice? It looks like there's a little bit of a gap between the water tank and the uh, uh, chassis there, but that's a small thing. It's a compromise, really, I guess. Yeah, I'll just uh, give you guys a uh, good general look at it. Well, I've got to say, Dapple have modelled it quite well, and that when it's come to doing all the detail, they have done a good job on that. And the gears are easily exposed there for oiling, which it looks like it wants us to do. Uh, it looks like it's, it's fitted with the uh, NEM pockets. So again, that's another good thing to have. Uh, yes. So, already looking quite a good engine. But what will it be like on the track? Well, let's, have a, let's go and find out. Okay, so prior to running in the model, Dapple has requested you give it a light oil in in the places shown on this on the pictures here. Uh, so there are the gears you'll find underneath the loco and also the crank pins on each of the rods and that. Now I run the locals in generally for about 45 minutes in each direction which is uh, just enough for what they need really. I already have run it in going forwards, so I've just got to run it in backwards and then it'll be ready for general use. Now, a fact I have been told about the Terriers is that they were named after their local sheds. So mine's called Thames, so that would have been named after the shed at, at Thames. And also on the Isle of Wight, they had a habit of naming them after local towns and villages. Okay, so the running in session is now completed. So let's see what it's like for how much it can pull. Uh, for this test, I have got two Dapple Maunsell coaches on it. So let's see how it does. Already it's coping with those two coaches in these if like they were nothing.
Now that's very good for how many coaches I can pull. But how many would it really pull? Okay, so I've uh, strengthened the train up now to four coaches. And I've got to say, the loco is pulling it very well. I reckon this is its limit though, because it did have a few little slips, so in general I don't think we'll do any more than four. But uh, to sum the model up then, very nice. Total cost of the local was £66 from Colonel Model Railways. And then it was a further £4 postage, so in total already I've spent £70 on it. And yes, I do think it's worth your money. I mean, I'd like the local to be a little bit cheaper, but in today's ages and days, prices are going to be high. So, all in all, you get what you pay for now. Anyway, well, thank you for watching this review, and I hope you enjoyed it.